So do you really own your Solana NFT? Do you think Amber Heard deserves a second chance in life? These are some deep questions that we all have to think about, but let me explain to you on how theoretically you don't own your Solana NFT. Okay, so let's take a look at Ethereum. Now in Ethereum, if you go to OpenSea, they basically had a similar issue, but fixed it. And how did they fix it? Well, if you go to OpenSea, you will see that on some collections, like here on Board Ape Yacht Club, basically you can see that the uh, data is basically frozen. So how you can look at this is by looking at the detail here, and it says, metadata frozen right here frozen so basically right there it also says you gotta smash the like button but anyways what does this mean okay so let's look at the notes here so right here on OpenSea, it basically says your nft is permanently locked and stored in a decentralized file storage so basically it's permanently locked for ever and will forever be safely stored and will never be lost or missing what metadata does this include uh media ethereum nfts basically and how much does it cost to freeze and all you gotta do is pay gas fees so what happens if it's not well if it's not it can be lost or it can be missing it's basically the opposite so what's metadata metadata is basically makes it easier to locate data and for here it's basically media description stats item names and so on so for solana it basically describes the attributes characteristics of an nft and its image now that we have figured out this owning your nft in ethereum is pretty much legit. So Solana is a different case. And this is where the cookie crumbles because projects actually have the authority to basically remove your NFT image from the link. It basically means that you really have no authority where essentially you just own the link to nothing. So only the authority can change the image to a bag of poo, which actually did happen as a revenge tactic in Solana with a project a long time ago. So this stuff is actually real and they have the authority to do anything they want. Essentially, if you bought an NFT for $1,000, you basically have the risk of buying $1,000 of a blank token. So that's really basically the main case is that no one's not really talking about this and it is a huge risk and even the top build of Solana with the number one project Frank the Gods has stated this so here we have Frank's statement on this whole subject and this basically began with royalties and now everyone was talking about this so basically Frank says in the terms of the accepted social construct you absolutely own your NFT you hold it in your wallet and you can sell it and do things with it now my point is that so do projects projects just because of the way nfts are there is an update authority the gods update wallet is a basically a multi-signature so kind of like you know kind of like you know basically a little bit of a less of a risk now they keep talking and then you're going to see that frank basically says the reality is that projects actually can update nfts all of the solana projects and many of the top eth projects including base have update authority so no it is technically not your asset I know I'll take heat for saying this, but it's simply factually truth. Wow. So there you go. The big guy has said it as well. I'm a huge NFT believer. It's my hobby. It's my everything. But I have family, so I have to diversify my assets as well. I own real estate. I have stocks. Heck, I bought more Tesla and Amazon basically this whole month. But as far as my portfolio, I have OK Bear, I have The God, I have a Solana Monkey business, and many other NFTs. But I'm not purchasing more NFTs as my collection is growing larger and I do have enough. And I'm gonna wait till the bull market comes and then I'm gonna sell a couple of NFTs, build up the cash and so forth, and then from there I'll keep buying more. But I'm always minting. I love minting, it's cheap, and it's still a potential to hit baggers. It's something that um, nothing will stop me from doing. But again, the question is, do you really own the NFT? And my answer is no. On Solana, you own the space of where the NFT image is stored. And in addition, the project also owns the NFT, which means the NFT can be anything if the project changes it. So the big suggestion here is Launchpad should take a look at this and try to fix this situation with the metadata, especially Magic Eden, and maybe Soul Portal uh, Launchpad, and maybe Bifrost will do something. We don't know, but something has to be done and see what they could do and help more people feel safe to buy NFTs on Solana. So right now we are very early, but frankly, it's not a big issue right now because of that. We are all currently DJs experiencing the wild, wild west. We don't really not have a concern on this subject 
yet. We are too early to even care. But once more users start coming in, there will be an inflection point where everything has to change because that inflection point will be the growth of more users that will not take the risk once this thing is changed. So it's gonna change eventually. I really do believe it and I hope so. And when this happens, I'm gonna be even more bullish and I'm gonna keep buying more NFTs. So if you enjoyed this content, make sure you smash that like button, hit that bell, and subscribe. Much love and peace.